Well, last year, you had a serious health situation. Mm -hmm. You had a damaged hernia mm -hmm. that resulted hernia. in sepsis. You sent me into sepsis. And it had something to do with the cosmetic surgeries that you had? Um, sometimes I feel like my past um, surgery that I did kind of weakened my muscles. Hmm. I do feel that like that. But um, for the whole situation when it happened, it was so unexpected. And I just really, I forgive God thanks to save my life because that is just the greatest message that I got from the testimony. You know, I really got a message from that and that's why I started the album with the gospel song. And a lot of people, it went number one and I feel like a lot of people been saying, oh, it's so touching. It's because it's coming from that real place of me saying to God that you are so worthy to be praised. Because if it never happened, oh, it happened, I probably wouldn't have been here. But I should, I should be here. I'm supposed to be here. God saved my life for a reason because he wanted me here. So I'm just so grateful um, for him saving my life because I did escape death. Well, it was serious. You said uh, 14 doctors, three chest-busting operations. Mm -hmm. uh, you spent two months in the hospital. Yep. You had to relearn how to walk, talk, and eat. You lost mm -hmm. 30 pounds. And you actually prepared a will at one point in the hospital thinking that this was it. Mm -hmm. So you really thought that it was all over at that point. So you were almost looking at death. Mm -hmm. The doctor said it was probably going to be it for me. I remember them saying, you know, it don't look good for me, you know. So I feel like, again, I have to give it to Jesus himself because he's the man for that moment. He's just the person that I can just give all the praise to. Um, he's just worthy. Like, him literally saved my life. I've been through so many things that sometimes when I think back on it, it makes me so emotional because even when I see the pictures of my stomach, like, because the sepsis ate away my entire flesh over my belly. Wow. So when I look back at the pictures, it's so unreal. I'm like, God, you really, really was just right beside me. You never left. Because how did I even come back from these things? How did I come back from that? I don't know. I remember at one point I couldn't eat. So the tubes was inside of my neck and um, they used to feed me. I was on a liquid diet. I just was getting through the liquid, through the tube um, for months. And I was like, how did I even survive? You know, um, the sepsis was hard to control because you know, the sepsis is a poison that attack, attacks like the organs in your body. And so even when I was getting the medication, I was resisting it because it was so strong. It was attacking my lungs. Um, and certain organs in my body. So at the time when it was happening, it was devastating. But again, I give Jesus all the praise and all the glory. And we just continue to say he's so worthy to be praised because not many people have a, gone through a sepsis shock and can sit here and tell you that, wow, I had sepsis and I escaped death. So I mean, I'm grateful for that. When you look at that situation, you said you, you think it may have been to do with the, with the surgeries that you had. Women in entertainment, I feel like there's so much pressure to look a certain type of way. I don't want to speak on that or other women mm -hmm. um, and their decision because everyone have their own individual life to live and do whatever they choose to do. So I don't want to speak on other women and their choice. Fair enough. 